My name is Jeannie and this is my husband Vince. In 2022, we became proud new owners of our first truck camper and we've been enjoying many fun camping adventures with it. In this series, we're heading on the longest trip yet to the California coast for two weeks. In our last episode, you saw us get our camper prepped and ready for departure, making the long drive from Colorado through Utah. Our water froze again. And finally making our way into Nevada where we found this amazing lakefront dispersed campsite for the night. So we had an amazing sleep last night. It was so comfortable because the lows were only at like high 20s. It wasn't single digits <laughs> like last night. So it just stays so much more comfortable in the camper up in the bed area when it's not single digits, obviously. So we are rested and ready for the day. So we're all packed up and we're not too far from our first stop of the day. We are headed to Valley of Fire State Park here in Nevada. First time to the state park. And then we make our way over to Vegas. We're going through Vegas. We've been to Vegas multiple times, but we're not doing anything in Vegas because we don't really care about Vegas. That's not really why we're here in Nevada. And then make our way to California today. So let's go. We're ready to get out and see some stuff. <laughs> you guys, we have never seen wild donkeys before. This is amazing, what a treat. So donkeys are the cutest animal. Oh my God, they're cute. <laughs> to Valley of Fire State Park. This looks really cool. All the rocks everywhere. So they have a day use fee here. So Vince is paying here at the fee station. So it was $15 for non-resident. Visiting Valley of Fire State Park made us feel like we were stepping into a different planet. How is this place less than an hour from Vegas? And let's just appreciate these epic road views. It's one of those drives that simply take your breath away. Valley of Fire State Park is a real treat. It's definitely not a typical state park. So it's kind of blowing our mind. There's like nobody here and it's a Sunday morning. Um, yeah, it's super quiet here. So I love that, love that. So we're gonna go on a little hike this morning. Um, it is the Wave and Seven Wonders Loop. It's about 2.3 miles, um, should be, pretty easy it doesn't seem like too difficult of a trail but just driving in on the road here the views and everything are gorgeous this is a really pretty state park so we were blown away on the drive in but little did we know our mind was about to get blown even more on this hike this is the famous fire wave section but after that was a deep slot canyon called pastel canyon Look at this beautiful array of colors on the rocks. I've never seen anything like this. And then we stumbled upon this rock section towards the end of the hike. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like a rainbow. This was stunning. And if you ever visit Valley of Fire State Park, I definitely recommend doing this hike. It's well worth it. All right, we're back from the hike. Awesome hike. like beautiful the colors like pastel colors i couldn't believe all the colors the wave was cool there was kind of a mini line and people were taking their time getting their photos and all the things it took us about an hour and ten to do the whole thing so now we're gonna just stay parked right here and make our breakfast because this is beautiful so uh, look at our poor bananas this is frostbite bananas here they're fine they're totally fine um just when we were going through those cool attempts they got frostbite so they're black but they're like super ripe and yummy right now. <laughs> We're making our classic little breakfast, our little breakfast sandwiches. These are so good. So we're jamming out to a station from Las Vegas. We have a radio system in here. 100.5. 
you're doing very well on your uh, song selection. Some oldies, some new ones. I've heard this song for a long time. Can't really play it because then I'll get demonetized, but you're doing well. All right, look at that goodness. Oh my gosh. The best breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> I just can't get over this view. It's beautiful. So we are heading out of Valley Fire State Park now. We are making our way to Las Vegas. Um, so we do have to stop at a grocery store because we realized we forgot our buffalo sauce. And yesterday we realized we forgot mayo. <laughs> it's all at home. That's okay. It's minor. So we're gonna go get those two items. And then, yeah, keep on with our day. But definitely recommend if you're near Vegas, come to Valley Fire State Park. Gorgeous. So before we leave, we're actually stopping at the campground. We're gonna fill up our water tank. It's not very low, like maybe only a quarter down. We haven't used a lot of water, but when we can get water, we take advantage. Wow, you guys, look at this line as we're leaving. There was no line when we came. There was nobody around. Everyone comes later in the day, I guess. Because we're by Vegas, we were just gonna like, you know, go around Vegas and keep on moving, but you know what? We're gonna drive this trip with a truck camper. <laughs> this might be a fun idea or this could be a bad idea, but whatever, we're just rolling. We have time. We're gonna go drive downtown Las Vegas Boulevard. Wow, look at all the palm trees. Here we are, Las Vegas Boulevard. We did it! <laughs> we are officially on the Las Vegas trip with the truck camper. grocery store we're gonna get our buffalo sauce and mayo <laughs> all right we're set <laughs> so now we're getting gas at an Albertsons when we were going through Colorado and then into Utah we were spending only about three dollars a gallon it was usually like 295 or like 305 right around that three mark now when we're here in Nevada it's a little higher it's closer to the four mark kind of like we're paying 389 right now but hey, I'm not complaining. Anything under four is I'm happy with because I know when we get to California, we're probably not gonna find any gas under four. But um, yeah, it's interesting watching gas prices change as you get to you know different locations. Right next to like where we're gassing up, getting groceries, um, there was a Planet Fitness, and we were gonna go see about taking a shower there. So you have to buy like a day pass. Oh my gosh, we didn't realize day passes were twenty dollars each. Um, whenever I used to do day passes at a gym, it was like five or ten bucks. Um, so we're not gonna go to Planet Fitness for a shower because I didn't realize they were that much. We are officially in California, and this is the welcome sign. <laughs> Come on, California, you can do better. I don't even know what this is. Inyo County, California. Does anyone else get mad when, when you go to a state and there's not a cool welcome sign? I don't know, I do. I feel like it's like a thing, you know? You need a cool welcome sign. you guys so this is the craziest coolest thing so kind of looks like we're staying at a campground right I mean we've got a nice slab and there's a whole bunch of slabs down that way right yeah we're not we're uh, dispersed camping at an old deserted RV park yeah <laughs> this is free dispersed camping <laughs> we have a pad 
and it's like a huge RV park that's just deserted right on the edge of Death Valley National Park. There's, I don't know how many pads, like 50, 60 pads right before the entrance of Death Valley and you can camp here for free. This is sweet. <laughs> this is like actual tar road, old tar road, loops through and then you can see there's a guy up there and then another one way up there. But look at this, it still has like all the hookups. Um, when this was a RV site, um, it was probably water, sewer, the whole, the whole works right here, but obviously we can't use it now because it's no longer in use, but we went to the back of the campground. So this is our site. So I'm just like walking around right behind our camper and like the ground is black. And I'm just trying to like envision this heat that it gets here because this is the hottest area of the USA in the summer months and it's just like scorched looking. <laughs> Look at this, it almost looks like coals. Like that's how dark it is. Little, like from a charcoal grill. That's, that's what this landscape looks like right now. Have a good shower. Camping pro tip, always have a shark vacuum for quick vacuuming in the camper. <laughs> So we just got done showering and we just made dinner. So tonight I'm having a buffalo chicken salad. So we pre-cooked a bunch of chicken breast. Then we have some hard boiled egg in there that we made before we came. We had all that pre-done. Um, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, the goods. And then Vince made some homemade blue cheese dressing. It is so good. He turned his into a wrap. So there it is. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be good. Yep. So we got a serious game of Yahtzee going. I usually always win this game, but Vince just thinks he's going to win. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh. <laughs> oh. What should I take? I'm going to take... I guess I'll take my fives. Yeah. Boom. Look at that, you guys. Yahtzee. Well, I'm not even adding it up because I already know I won. Because <laughs> I got a Yahtzee. Vincent. I win. Now it's movie night. So tonight was our game and movie night. <laughs> I can see Vince in the reflection. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow as we head to Death Valley. Our 32nd National Park. This is insane landscape. We've officially been to the lowest elevation of the Western Hemisphere. Gas is 468 a gallon. Hello, California. I don't know about you guys, but I just love being able to stop where I need and go to the bathroom. We're getting abducted by UFOs tonight. That's all I can figure out. Mm -hmm.